structure of proteins proteins are the polymers of alpha amino acids and they are connected to each other by peptide bond the covalent chemical bonds are formed when the carboxyl group of one amino acid reacts with the amino group of another the shortest peptides are dipeptides consisting of two amino acids joined by a single peptide bond followed by tripeptides tetrapeptides etc when carboxyl group of glycine combines with the amino group of alanine we get a dipeptide glycylalanine when the number of such amino acids is more than 10 then the products are called polypeptides all proteins are polypeptides proteins can be classified into two types on the basis of their molecular shape fibrous proteins and globular proteins fibrous proteins the amino acid sequences of fibrous proteins often contain repeating sets of amino acid residues such repeating sets tend to cause the protein to be both elongated and strong fibrous proteins also gain strength due to interactions between the side chains of the residues the alpha keratin polypeptides for example have a large number of cysteine residues which can form disulfide bonds they usually have structural roles such as collagen in bone and cartilage keratin in fingernails and hair globular proteins in a globular protein the amino acid chain twists and folds in a manner to give a spherical shape hydrophobic parts are towards the center and hydrophilic are towards the edges which makes them water soluble they usually have metabolic roles for example enzymes in all organisms plasma proteins and antibodies in mammals structure and shape of proteins can be studied at four different levels that is primary secondary tertiary and quaternary primary structure of proteins the unique sequence of amino acids that make up a protein or polypeptide chain is called the primary structure secondary structure after synthesis polypeptide chains are folded or pleated into different shapes called their secondary structure two common examples of secondary structures are alpha helices and beta pleated sheets secondary structure is held together by many hydrogen bonds overall giving the shape great stability alpha helix is held in place due to hydrogen bonding between c o and nh groups of the peptide bond in beta structure all peptide chains are stretched out to nearly maximum extension and then laid side by side which are held together by intermolecular hydrogen bonds tertiary structure of proteins the final 3d structure of a protein is its tertiary structure which pertains to the shaping of the secondary structure it gives rise to two major molecular shapes viz fibrous and globular
tertiary structure is held together by four different bonds and interactions disulfide bond ionic bonds hydrogen bonds and hydrophobic and hydrophilic interactions quaternary structure of proteins the structure formed when two or more polypeptide chains join together sometimes with an inorganic component to form a protein denaturation of proteins if a protein loses its shape it ceases to perform its function in the body the process that causes a protein to lose its shape is known as denaturation denaturation can be caused by solvents inorganic salts exposure to acids or bases and by heat due to this globules unfold and helix gets uncoiled and protein loses its biological activity the coagulation of egg white on boiling is a common example of denaturation another example is curdling of milk which is caused due to the formation of lactic acid by the bacteria present in milk 